What will you do to change the undemocratic filibuster? Small d. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I, I often say it's not, and I took this phrase to somebody else, it's not America that needs reform, it's the United States Senate. And I say that with a caution. I'm very taken with how our forefathers put together the Constitution. In a sense, recognize we're not a democracy, we're a representative democracy that is intent upon protecting the minority. And someday we will be in the minority. We've had to help others through the years that weren't as well protected, from women to African Americans to the GLBT community. But I don't think you just go over there and say it's 51 and that's it. I watch the House of Representatives at times. Because we have the votes, it tends not to be as democratic as I found the Navy was. Sometimes things are just pushed right on through. And I think that knowing that we ourselves will not always be in the majority, I think that however you change that 60-40 has to be done thoughtfully. 1975, they made it formally into legislation after a hard period of about 10 years for civil rights. They didn't want to have to go through that again as they wanted to protect the minority. So there is some reform that's needed in an institution that I would argue has become a good old boys club that to some degree doesn't mind if someone's been on the other side and come on over, it's okay. I ride the Acela with you, or I got hired for my first job with you. To some degrees, it's doing what's right, but I want to be careful. I do believe that we should vote on reconciliation if it's necessary to get something through like the House bill, uh, the health bill, but I want to make sure the minority is always protected in this America of ours, because sometimes passions can run quite quite wild as I watch in the House of Representatives. What will you do to change the undemocratic small v filibuster? Well, we first have to understand where a filibuster stands in the life of our country. The founding fathers made the Senate rules very different from the House rules. So they can pass things in a day. They have what they call a rule pass it right away. Uh, in the Senate, uh, there's more time. All the world's greatest deliberative body hasn't performed lately. But we had a challenge on the impeachment of the Supreme Court Justice in 1805. And the Supreme Court Justice was acquitted because of the Senate's slow procedures. And that saved the independence of the judiciary in the Supreme Court. Andrew Hamilton was impeached in 18... Andrew Johnson. Andrew Hamilton, a little... Andrew Johnson was impeached in 1868, and uh, he was acquitted because of the Senate procedure. So that the filibuster, when used properly, has its place. What has to be done is that we have to get people to cross the aisle and stop irresponsible filibusters. And that really depends more on the voters than on the senators. The American people are sick and tired of the political gridlock of Washington today. And the American people are going to have to identify the people who are holding out. And I'll name names. You're going to have to deal with Senator DeMint of South Carolina. <laughs> You're going to have to deal with Senator DeMint, who's the leader. And he didn't know he was being recorded when he said that uh, uh, health care is going to be President Obama's water leak. And said, we're going to use that to break him. And I'm not going to reveal any confidences from the Republican conference. Uh, and uh, the irreconcilable differences which arose uh, uh, led me to accept uh, what President Obama had suggested and what uh, Biden and, and uh, Rendell had suggested. But the American people are going to have to reject guys like Senator DeMint and guys like Joe Wilson, who at a joint session of Congress, say to the president, you lie. Uh, our democracy is going to have to be saved by the, by the people who reject those tactics and support people who will cross the aisle 
and work for compromises, as I have, during the time I have been in the United States. Well, as...